in most African communities, mental health is considered um, a disease that is not treatable. And uh, people are not free about it. Uh, we still hold it as a mysterious issue. It's uh, like a taboo. And people may not wish to mix so much with people with mental illness. We know that Africa is where modern humans originated from. And there's not a lot of work that has been done uh, regarding the genetics of, of anything in the African population, let alone mental illness. Treatments for mental illnesses across the world are inadequate. Um, the medications that are there, the interventions that are there, only scrape the surface. They do not address the problems fundamentally. Stigma towards um, mental health in general is um, a significant barrier towards uh, uh, the achievement of integration of mental health care into our primary health care system. We are in a setting where people understand illness as fever, a swelling, a wound, or the, the general ways of defining illness. When you do not have adequate mechanisms of diagnosis and treatment of any severe chronic illness, then stigma takes root and, and people believe in the stigmatizing attitudes. There is not a lot of understanding in terms of uh, uh, science as to the relationship between um, uh, behavior and the brain itself as an organ as having an illness when you have a brain tumor people understand but when you have a mental illness people don't understand so that kind of complicates how we see it as a society it's important to study genetics uh, among Africans as regards uh, psychosis because much of the research has occurred out of Africa and yet we know we are really quite genetically very different the evidence suggests that the amount of genetic diversity on the African continent is greater than anywhere else in the world. And we seem to be reaching agreement now that a lot of the answers will be found in the genetic makeup of the people. When we started thinking about the complexion of the global neuropsychiatric genetics database, we all agreed in the field that this database was not representative of the world's populations. Most of the samples were from Caucasian populations and maybe a little from parts of Asia, but they did not look the same as what the world uh, population looks like. If we are going to make medications that are, um, are meant uh, or tailored towards certain genetic variations, then we need to involve uh, populations from Africa in this kind of work. Now, if we don't do that, then the African continent and its inhabitants will continue to lag behind.